Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you a bit about why uh, Microsoft is getting quite a bit of flack um, about Windows Mobile 6.5. Now this week they've had quite a bad week with um, uh, the danger um, data loss. Uh, danger being a company uh, responsible for the Sidekick devices and uh, Microsoft bought them uh, a year or two ago. And uh, also Windows Mobile 6.5 hasn't had the reception that perhaps uh, Microsoft would have liked. Now here I've got a HTC Touch Dual with 6.5 on it. We can see we've got this new interface here which is very nice. The interface itself is, as you can see, quite slick. We go into the Start menu. This is actually uh, a build of Windows Mobile 6.5 which is newer than the builds that you will see on um, handsets that are now coming out. So, if, for example, in this build, if I press and hold on um, one of the icons there, it says I can move it. I can actually move these icons around a bit like the HTC TouchFlow um, system. Now, I think Windows Mobile is going to um, do okay, mainly because of the new devices like the HTC HD2 uh, coming out with very high specs and they've got the HTC TouchFlow technology that HTC have worked on and likewise LG have got their own uh, GUI and other handset manufacturers have built in their own GUI into Windows Mobile. So some may argue that the interface isn't really key because a lot of manufacturers choose to hide it anyway. But what I wanted to show you, part of the reason that Windows Mobile have got such a bad press at the moment from a lot of the um, newspapers and the press if I show you this, this is the uh, Orange SPB M2000. I don't quite know exactly how old this is now, but it's running. You can hear it, the old beep beep noises. It's running Windows Mobile. I'll give you the exact version. Uh, 2003 second edition. This is running. Now, it's a bit clunky. I have to get the stylus out instantly. Um, now, one thing I've always mentioned is the ringtone. If I want to change the ringtone, I go to Start, Settings, and then Sounds and Notifications, and you get this screen, which may be in 2003 or even 2004, perhaps even 2005, would have been okay and a great way of changing your ringtone. You, know, you can go to Notifications, and I can... Um, choose what I want to change, so the MMS message, phone, incoming call, at the moment it's this, and I can change it from the drop down there. Now also if I want to add a calendar, uh, uh, an alarm, I have to go into system, clock and alarms, and you get this rather crude stylus driven interface. Now fast forward to 2009, almost pretty much, let's call it 2010, and we've got the new Windows Mobile 6.5. Now, unfortunately, although you can put uh, new interfaces in, like here we've got the clock here, so we click on the clock and we go into clocks and alarms. Now, that isn't far away from the original clock and alarm system, that is not in any way finger friendly. I've uh, got to get my stylus out, put a tick in that box, then choose what days I want. And likewise, if I want to change the ringtone, I click on OK, and I want to change the ringtone. Right, now, let's do it the, the way through the interface. I'll click on the Start button, click on Settings, and then I go to Sounds and Notifications. We've got a lovely new icon. But that is exactly the same interface apart from a slight bit of curvature on the tabs at the bottom here and I still have to get my stylus out to change the ringtone. Now I don't have to do much in the way of um, research to find out that when somebody buys a phone one of the first things they're going to want to do is change the ringtone. They want to personalise the phone, that is why we started Cool Smartphone. You want to personalise your phone, make it your own. You want to change the backdrop, so let's go and do that. I change the ringtone now through this hideous interface. I now go into uh, settings and I want to change my backdrop. Let's see, is it in personal? Let's go into personal. Um, can't find it in there. Let's go back. Let's go system. No, it's not in there. Let's go into today. So you get the today screen here, and you can go 
use a picture as the background but again I need my stylus there's no way I can do that with my finger it's a bit hit and miss then I press browse and it loads up a big long list of my pictures I don't get previews I don't get to see what the pictures look like I just get a list you know I'd like to see it in that interface without having to click on something again go back to 2003-2004 this is, I mean this is like six years old now and this hasn't changed and this is what is um, annoying the uh, reviewers really and I go right let's want to change my my backdrop and I go personal today screen use it's exactly the same interface exactly the same now unfortunately Microsoft and Windows Mobile cannot afford to ever do this again you cannot afford to leave the interface exactly as it was on this handset look at it look at this handset if somebody had this phone now you would probably get laughed at it is a colossal handset this was great in you know four five six years ago seven years ago whenever it first came out but now people have got phones that look like this smaller phones with fantastic interfaces with very smooth interfaces look at that that's what people want I want to change my ringtone I click on that I slide up and I know I'm switching across to Android here and you will get some sort of uh, functionality like this in the HTC TouchFlow technology but it shouldn't be up to them to make all these changes sounds and displays ringer volume media volume sign it I want to change the phone ringtone there it is and there we go a nice friendly interface on how to change the ringtone I haven't had to use a stylus once so that really is part of the problem that Windows Mobile 6.5 has faced and part of the reason that it's getting such bad reviews the browser still isn't anywhere near as good as Opera it will render faster once you've viewed a page a couple of times the first time it views a page it takes an age to render it it, take, it basically loads it all up in memory and then splat spits it out it doesn't load it bit by bit like the old browser did which was still pretty poor and unfortunately although the interface here on Windows Mobile 6.5 on the browser is better it doesn't flu it's not as fluid it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the interface and uh, we've got the marketplace here and the marketplace functionality is better but unfortunately it's very easy to get around the copyright protection and uh, you can also get a very different amount of uh, um, apps unfortunately there's no sim card in this you can get a very different amount of apps depending on which country you're in in some countries you may only get less than a dozen in other countries you may get hundreds it's um it's unfortunately skin deep and you can't afford to do a skin deep let's just stick a new interface on and call it 6.5 unfortunately 6.5 is just uh, my phone which is an excellent backup facility I must say uh, it's the Windows Marketplace, which again it is in its early days, but it's it's a shop, and that's what we wanted. Um, and it is uh, a new interface, and uh, the Internet Explorer browser, but that isn't good enough, unfortunately, in this day and age. We need to move quickly. We need to move very nimbly. So Windows Mobile 6.5, unfortunately. Um, you unfortunately deserve the stick you're getting in the press.